can, that's fine. Uh, just so you know, Tom, if you look on, if you, I don't know if you're going to open it, but if you look on the contest page, on sheet two is the list of. Uh, what, uh, you mean place, the, the, the show notes? No, the haiku um, contest. Haiku. But don't don't talk about it because uh, we're live. I ain't gonna, I ain't going to talk about it because <laughs> we're live. <laughs> Holy shit! That person won. <laughs> Oh my god, I didn't know Trump submitted a haiku. That's great. Oh god. <laughs> His is the one where the count is wrong. Sorry, right, you know. <laughs> and it's just the word wall over and over? Yes. No, he uses walls at one point to, to get to that meter count, you know. You know. Power <laughs> to him for at least remembering what plural words are. Now, I would have picked a different character of modern interest. However, uh, I uh, am brain dead. So that didn't happen. It's fair. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Uh, try to look. I'm trying to find the show notes. They're there. They're right there. You're highlighting right. You're right on. I'm not in the show own. notes. Oh, it says anonymous skunk and now Python. Well, I was I'm clearly the Python because I just joined it. You sure you're not the skunk? I mean I could be the skunk, it's fine. Um, no, I see the skunk, so I'm not the skunk. Alright. Sorry to disappoint you. What am I? You're you because you own it. Oh, that's right. <clears throat> wait. Oh, boo. oh wait. Wait, what am I? Oh, I'm I'm You're skunk. I'm a skunk too? <laughs> no, you're you skunk. Are, you're skunk, not two, you are the skunk. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> This reminds me of the time I took that like I, f I forget why I was like it was like a like we were like drunk with a bunch of friends or something and we we're like oh let's take the official Jake Rowling like house test blah 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 oh. and I was like sweet I got Ravenclaw all right what's my what's my Patronus all right let's do that and then I got it and it was like a freaking rat and I'm like are you kidding <laughs> I like like, why did I get a freaking rat <sighs> could be worse you could have been put in Hufflepuff oh my God. daughter no, my I, daughter I, I'd be dead <laughs> my daughter off myself <laughs> my daughter's in Hufflepuff. <laughs> I got Gryffindor. I mean, it's easy enough so, to game to make sure you get into what you want. Was she True, sad really. when you when you insisted she changed her last name and you cut her off from your, <laughs> your lineage? <laughs> I'd be more proud of her. If she was in Slithering. Well, no, I guess a, that's someone. She's a Hufflepuff. It's accurate. <laughs> it checks out. It checks out. <laughs> I forgot what my wife was. I don't think we did hers. We did on the official Pottermore, blah, 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 whatever that yeah, is. Oh, yeah, I did on there, too. It's like but we did it with yeah, their I new... I saw it, too. <laughs> yeah, I saw Stranger Things, too. Oh, there we go. <laughs> How I've, that I've never watched that. The that huh? You never saw it? I've never watched Stranger Things, no. It's that? enjoyable. It's it's fun. The first season's good. The second one's okay. I actually never finished the second season. Gasp. That's just not that interesting. Yeah. No, it's fine. You, you're generally not about very, very many things, so I'm not, <laughs> not going to try and <laughs> I eat everything. I learned long ago to, to not be like, John, this thing is awesome and exciting that I'm excited about. You should be excited too. And then you're like, huh? <laughs> And then I'm like, it's this, this thing, and I explain it to you, and you're like, Tuesday? And I'm like, he's, literally oh the, he's literally the, the neutral planet guy. Yes. Yes, I am neutral planet for sure. No, that doesn't sound fun to me. Okay, done. <laughs> no, I'm not. Yeah. All okay. right, do you want to go ahead and start us off? <clears throat> yeah, let's go ahead. Just let me know when we're live. We're live. Well, let me Oh, okay. Well, give me the countdown. Sure, so three, two, one. Hey, everybody. Uh, here we are once again for another fabulous episode, TFG Radio. Um, as you can see, we are not um, at the luxurious uh, Casa de John, Le Juan. <laughs> what the heck is going on right here? Chateau de Guemelio. <laughs> Chateau de Salt. <laughs> <laughs> is salt like in that. Spanish salt? <laughs> Salt has built empires. Um, it has. So, <laughs> and ended them. The best empires. So, welcome for another a new episode. First episode of the new year. Happy New Year, everybody. Hope everybody had a happy New Year's. 
I something. I stayed oh. home. Oh, you did? Yeah, I didn't go anywhere for you New Year's. You didn't get wrecked on the town? No. Oh. Yeah, so, no, I, I, we, we stayed in, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. John, you went out, didn't you? Uh, yeah, well, we were in Hawaii, so my parents oh, watched. Right. My so, parents watched the kids uh, after we had a dinner with them. So and, you went uh, out and went out, and then Natalie went and out. I went out. Yeah, there was only like one place in all of like that area of Maui that was open past like ten o'clock. <laughs> really? What? Yeah. So we went to that one place. <laughs> Apparently, it's not a big deal on that island. Uh, New Year's. Well, when you're on paradise, I mean, come on. Yeah, yeah sure. What is uh, one more year in this luxurious? Finance place. <laughs> so uh, there's been have a few the th- robots oil the pits. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's been a few things happening since uh, since I believe we last uh, spoke. Uh, the uh, LVO uh, video was released. Our annual mm-hmm. what's going on video yeah uh, was released. Uh, the cutoff for codexes has passed. Hmm. So no, no jeans are cold. cold. Womp womp. Sorry, <laughs> but it looks cool what you guys may be able to do, so it might be hashtag worth it. Maybe. I mean, we'll Maybe. see. Just not worth it at the biggest tournament of the year. Aww. <laughs> but next Aww. year, though. I wonder. <laughs> um, yeah, but next year. We're, we're gonna have no Gene Steeler Cult players people listening after this because I'm just gonna keep rubbing the salt in the wound the whole time. <laughs> that's, oh my god, that's, yeah, that's different. How? Um, uh, yeah, I didn't say anything different. I'm just saying we're gonna alienate one more group. Oh, okay, yeah. What's yeah. so, one uh, more against countless thousands? <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of Facebook groups out there. Yeah, that's true. Are there Gene Steeler so, Cult Facebook groups? I need to join them. Yeah, I'm more. I've been. Yeah. No, they're two. actually they're actually so in tune with their fandom that it's invite only. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you know you get you get con- converted. Yeah, 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 I get it. I got yes. it. Yes. Oh, it oh, got it. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go God. over here now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> as you can <laughs> can't already tell, Tom Tom is here. Uh, and brain dead uh, after a hard day at work. Hard, yeah, hard days. So to start the new year, GW did have a an open day, what they called the New Year Open Day. I mm-hmm. mentioned it before, where there seemed to be having more of these, more or less weekenders, because uh, I know they have one for Forge World, they have one for Black Library, they have one for uh, Warhammer Fest, which is, used to be the old Games Day. Um, I think they have one for like Necromunda, and I don't know, they, they probably will. But um, other are than they the still sp- supporting that game? Yeah, there's a new uh, Beast of Nurgle for it, a new Troll, oh, new cool. some more Goblins. That's neat. Uh, They're still making the video game? That I do not know. For Necromunda. Oh, the Necromunda? That one I don't know either. Yeah, I didn't no, even know they were going to make a Necromunda video game. Yeah, they announced it last year um, just like with some story. Oh, that's right. Gameplay. Yes. It's, good. it's basically uh, squad combat. So think Mechanicus or XCOM, except more, I think, more like XCOM. Sure. sure. And an yeah, am- so- Amic Sight. And I okay. forgot about that. Um, it also made me lose my train of thought. Because uh, uh, that's good for this. Victory's um, mine! <laughs> uh, but, uh, tit- there's more stuff for the uh, Titanicus. The Titanicus, yeah. I saw that. That's going to be cool. I gotta. I think i got to pick up some Titans and play that game. It's. It seems like it's a. It's if you only play with like a small scale with a few titans and maybe some knights, it, it can be cool. I still have to put mine together. Hopefully, I'll do that soon. They don't um, seem hard to put together. I was looking at the. Um, I was looking at the directions for the warlord titan the other day. There's mm-hmm. that, there was a PDF posted in a group, and I was like, oh, I want to see how hard it is to build these things. It doesn't look that hard. I think the knights you actually build like the normal knights practically. <laughs> oh really? No. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, but it doesn't seem like as many small fiddly bits. Oh yeah, yeah. The, no, 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 yeah. no. Not at that scale, no. But I know, I know, I know. Me and my brother are trying. We're gonna try to get a game in once I build all the models, but ha- include the uh, the epic scale miniatures because, like I mentioned before, it seems more in scale with the uh, with the old with the, the older, old epic, uh, the old epic miniature the uh, soldiers, not necessarily yeah, the infantry the, and like the, the tanks. infantry and the, and the infantry and the vehicles, not necessarily yeah. the, the Titan. No, the old because Titans the, were not. 
to scale no, in that game no, at all. No, not at all. And if you if you compare them to the new ones, they're like almost twice. The new ones are like twice the size of the. Other. Yeah, silly. I think. Didn't you say? I think we were talking about it once. Like they did that on purpose. Like that they kind of wanted people to be able to bust out their old, epic stuff. I mean, maybe. No, maybe. not that I know of. I, they just changed the scale, maybe for that. But yeah, I like because like that would be like a really you know cool guy GW move on their part to be like you know we're making these these sweet new models for the sweet new game. You know what? Let's make it epic. You know, let's make it so it works with epic. <laughs> yeah, mo- most most people assume they didn't do that. That they actually changed it to eight millimeter because they wanted people to buy the new models. Right. That's the theory, anyway. Uh, sure. Uh, but it's better. It's better. It's better. <laughs> having played both six millimeter and fifteen millimeter. It's the 15 millimeter is a lot better because it, it's more detailed than the smaller ones, but not as detailed as the 28s or heroic uh, 32s. Right. So if you're playing, uh, like, I'm, well, John can cover his ears, but I'm playing Napoleonics. And I, I would just tune it out when I hear shit I don't care about. <laughs> so everything. Um, it's not true. There's some things I care about. So, and part of the. The part of the barrier of entry for Napoleonics is painting the miniatures because they're so detailed and there's so much information about it. But part the of the barrier sh- of entry for Napoleonics is it's Napoleonics. <laughs> there's that. <Yeah. laughs> but oh uh, like you have to be a re- real deep into history to be like, this game looks appealing. Dude, I teach history. <laughs> and you and skip that I don't want to play Napoleonics. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. But with well, with Napoleonics, with the current trend towards more fast play, you know, uh, it's more abstract, so it's a lot easier to get into in that case. But there's still certain people out there, and we all know who that certain person is yeah. that like the that like the deeper cuts, and so he has no one to play with. Um, Deep cuts. So, but that's a whole other thing, and they're not they're easier to paint at that scale than it would be. But to do that person, nobody wants to play with, anyways. True. It's not just about the fact that he likes the deep cut of the games, <laughs> but that's people one of the don't reasons. want to play with him. <laughs> but Y'all that's a legitimate. About, that's a legitimate reason to not play, though. <laughs> Y'all talking about our, our our Lord and Savior Satan? <laughs> he does wear red. Um, Apparently, he also inspires <laughs> actors to portray vice presidents. <laughs> wow. Just, so, just keeping it real and pop culture references and fresh, you know, that's how we roll here. Sure. Uh, we're, hip, we're hip and cool here at TG Radio. Moving on. Yes. I've never claimed that. Um, uh, so yeah, I mean, you guys I, I, the most recent episode of Alf. <laughs> am I right? God damn, you weren't even old enough to watch Alf. <laughs> I know, that's the best part. There's a, I would, I'm barely I, old enough to remember Alf being a thing. <laughs> There's no way you ever saw Alf. Well, I mean, I I did watch like reruns. I don't know. Does that count? I guess. But mm. if you watched the Not rerun, the did you actually experience the thing? <laughs> I could get really meta on that, but I'm not going to. <laughs> uh, moving on. To new yeah. stuff from Middle Earth. That's uh, <laughs> not a thing. A uh, new box set for uh, Skaven and Flesh Eater Court. So you're probably going to see a another Skaven army book soon. I thought it was weird that they had uh, Skaven Primaris Lieutenants in that box, but it made sense <laughs> given GW's previous releases. <laughs> they, should just, they should just put Primaris uh, in uh, everything. They should. And then Primaris everyone will buy it. All the 40k players will buy it. Mm-hmm. Um, looks pretty cool. Mo- uh, the goblins are coming out with a book. Uh, that, so that's that's basically for Age of Sigmar or Age of Sigmar segment. <laughs> <laughs> Where our goal uh, is to make it shorter every time. <laughs> Age of Sigmar cast is done. Darth uh, Darth Jew says yes. that that's uh, that reruns count. He's, is, he's your father, God. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure if I should read that out loud or not. Like, are we going to get banned spelled, from Twitch now or what? J O O. Right. I'm uh, just, as long as. I'm just doing. Fon- I'm a teacher. I'm phonetically reading it. As long as just, you don't, just the phonetic reading. <laughs> Tom is the one that went full accent. So. Yeah, ban Tom from Twitch. Don't ban me. Okay, no, Adam no. I, I've got, I've got Long Island blood in me. I can do that. <laughs> that just means you talk with an accent. That isn't that just the, the? Isn't just <laughs> that's just the anti-Semitic version of I have a black friend. <laughs> So I can say oh, bad things about God. black people. That's not good that is, at all. 
No, because it's not like, acceptable something's... in any way, shape, or form. Well, I didn't actually use slurs or or, or slander. We lost like four viewers because of you. Oh my god! <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, well, hey, now, so now we're at zero. We're at zero. Yeah. Hold up. I mean, but at the end of the I'm day, one of them. oh, he says I'm a Jew. I like Star Wars, so I guess we're not offending him. So it's fine. Yeah, well, there you go. Not to mention which me getting rid of viewers because of an insensitive joke versus me getting rid of viewers because of who I am. Because you don't watch are out. Mutually exclusive. <laughs> oh, how's this show so far off the rails already? Somebody put it back I, on. I don't know, but uh, there's a new there's new kill team for uh, that includes that gunslinger, uh, Gene Steeler cult, cult, cult guy, and some overbloat. Or overweight. Uh, oh, the gunslinger is not the guy on the bike, right? That's the snipers. No. Mm, the yeah, gunslinger is the uh, the the gene sitter guy with the three arms, and each of them has a six shooter. And he and he's wearing a bandana and a cloak. He so looks he's, like he looks like space, a bounty hunter. He's Space McCree. The Star Wars animated series. Yes, or something. He, he's, he's Space, space McCree. McCree. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Um, cool. They have this new thing for kill team called Arena, which I don't I'm not too. It's uh, essentially their it's foray like, into saying like it's competitive now. Like, guys, here's competitive rules for real now. I don't know the box. The box looks like it has. It's like Space Hulk. Yeah, okay. and I think that's because the the thing is with Kill Team right now is like you can use varying levels and actual right. terrain pieces. But I think to make it fluid and competitive and not have as many arguments as people probably would say have in a game of 40k regarding terrain. Um, hashtag and close runes. But. Uh, <laughs> No, no, it's for real though. It's I think they made it a flat surface with doors, and, yeah. and so, yeah. so it's you can you can much more clearly be like, okay, these are rules for terrain here, and now it can be competitive and streamlined. <laughs> yeah, I think they're gonna try to make it more, almost like uh, Shade Spire. So. <laughs> Darth Jew says, "No, you are racist, but I'm fine." He says, "John what? is fine." <laughs> oh come on! Oh nice. See, I, 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 have, I do I'm, have fans. You're just saying that because I'm white. I do have fans. <laughs> Hey, I'm the one you can see. <laughs> I don't know anything about True. you. No, but he's inferring from my voice. Wow. I mean, it's a good right. inference and accurate. So you know, it, That's completely true. Yeah, I mean, I'm not denying it. He is translucent in the sunlight, yes. Oh, my God. Yeah, no, I freaking, I glow in the dark. That's how pale I am. <laughs> yeah, I know. I save yeah, so much money know. on lighting that's, electricity. This is why you're yeah. only on the show when you're not here under the lights. <laughs> First off, we know that's not true. <laughs> Uh, I just want to be accepted. <laughs> uh, so You're great. on the show, right? <laughs> <laughs> the hell more do you want from us, man? Uh, God damn it, I'm fishing. I'm okay? <laughs> 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 Although I do appreciate the new uh, intro slide, John. I, or the traitor to the greater good. I, oh, yeah. I dig that. You're now speaking custodes. I am now yes. speaking custodes. <laughs> so, and then they show off more of the... Uh, what up, Access? New uh, Gene Steer cult models, which uh, female Magnus, everyone's, or Magus, Magnus, Magos. Magos. I think yeah, not a female Magnus. Magnus. Don't get people are going to get I mad if you say that. <laughs> I think there's someone making one on one of the converter <laughs> groups. Um, of course there is. Looks like there's an assassin, some other dudes. Then the again the pictures we've seen before, and then there now there's that new terrain piece that looks like a giant drill that I'll kit that I will kit bash and turn into a termite, forge world termite, and then send it to John to approve. No. <laughs> <Don't do that. laughs> you sure? I have to buy like five of those, and I can have termites on the cheap. And last thing, or one of the few other things, is the Amble for uh, Blackstone Fortress and the me the mechanical Ambles for uh, Necromunda. What's an Amble? Oh, D and D. Well, it's also in. It's also mentioned in um, uh, some of the Horus Heresy stories. Okay, uh, okay. I like asked what it is, and all you guys keep telling me is how I should know what it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what? Something, we, there's, we something called, there's something called Google, John. Look it up. Yeah. If I since Google, when have, since when have you known us to be helpful and not immediately judgmental? This is true. This is true. <laughs> and then you wonder why I ask you what Monday is. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I came out of the wrong pipe. <sighs> 
So nice. uh, Amble's just an old a monster from D and D. Basically, it's big. It's why is it in my forty k? Because it was in forty k <laughs> originally back in the day. Okay, that's fair. And uh, it was one of those generic monsters that wasn't like copyright protected, so everyone had one, and it was like the big bad at one point. Hmm. So they're bringing it back. There's a new model for it. I actually have the original model from that that the GW made. It's about as big as a nowadays. It'd be as big as a Cadian, I think. Okay, but he's supposed to be pretty big. So, and then the new, the one that got Chaos players all excited was the new Sorcerer for Beastmen. Apparently, why? Because he has the horn, the beast horns. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And he's floating. I like the. Uh, we didn't talk about it last show. I like the guy with the jump pack and the spear, the Black Legion guy. Harkon. Yeah, that's a Harkon, cool looking model. World breaker, world tamer, world whatever. I mean, it's a cool model. Unfortunately, the rules aren't very good. Right. I mean, I, I mean, would the, take the spear should character. have been given to a space wolf character because in the fluff there's the spear oh of God. Russ, and I've never heard anything about yes. a Black Legion person using a spear. Well, but, now you have. But that spear is pretty cool looking, <laughs> and that model is pretty cool looking. I'm okay with that. Yeah, most people are getting him and converting, just using him as a regular chaos lord with jump pack, and either con- and converting the spear to like whatever else, whatever weapon they want. Well, why convert the spear? Just counts as axe. Just sure. except for at LVO. You can't do that at LVO, but you can do it anywhere else. <laughs> no counts as must convert. Uh, so people are excited about it. Um it, since uh, we're getting closer to the uh whatever the next book is gonna be about, which you know, I don't know. Was, well, it looks like it might be more uh black region focused. The Vigilist Two or whatever. Yeah, whatever they're gonna call it. Um, and, well, hopefully but, it's Black Legion. And then somebody looked in the background of one of the photos and found like um, Abaddon's there claw. Was an Abaddon, and then there was Big a claw. picture of like a Terminator or something like that. No, like, like the background of the stars in one of the pictures. Yeah, the top right was Abaddon. The bottom right was a Terminator. I oh, think. okay, okay. I have to look at it again. Yeah. But one of the things I'm kind of excited about, but kind of, we're, uh, I don't know, I'll probably get it anyway, was the uh, Urban <laughs> Conquest. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen that. It's it's urban basically, assault, right? It's, it's urban assault. No, urban conquest. Urban conquest. Okay. Yeah, it's up for pre order. Um, I'll, I'll probably end up getting it. It it's basically city of death. What were the other names for it? Do you remember planetary assault? Planetary assault. City of death. I think mm. that was it, wasn't it? Yeah. There's been like it seems. It seems like there's been ten names for this. Zone Mortalis, isn't that one of them? I, sort of. That's more of like uh, enclosed spaces as opposed to a city. Darth says, "So my Perry Miniatures Hanoverian Infantry, which I don't know what that is, as IG Infantry is no go. Darn, it's not a no go <laughs> because you're allowed to use the third party miniatures, just not on stream. Plus, they might be a bit small because the Perry miniatures. Ah, uh, no, the Perry miniatures are pretty big. They're just not as beefy as uh, yeah, GW miniatures. If you're going and you're serious, which I don't think you are, send us a picture. <laughs> <laughs> Contact at frontlinegaming.org. Do Come not on, send it directly to Hanover. me. I won't read you should it. know Hanover. I only read things that get sent to me. To by, us, to by, us by the contact at frontlinegaming.org yes. <laughs> email. Don't say, don't send it directly. Just <laughs> send it directly to us. We're not answering shit. <laughs> <laughs> I already answered like 25 emails yesterday. <laughs> yeah. So it looks like it comes with uh, a bunch of terrain, but the terrain is all, like rubble. It's not even like city ruins or anything like that. Yeah, it's it's good ornamental pieces, but yeah, nothing that'll really. I can see it being used for like uh, display display boards and things like that. Yeah, or those really nice like tables you see in battle reports that like have yeah. that extra stuff that makes it look nice. I mean, it's just more stuff for miniatures to fall over on when they're on top of it, basically. Wobbly model syndrome, bro. Do what you want. Yeah, whatever. AKA, do whatever you feel like. Thanks, GW. <laughs> they have a new uh, a new terrain piece, Manufactorum. And then some stuff for... Uh, What's it look like, the Manufactorum? I didn't see it. Um, Does it look cool? Is it like enclosed ruins? It's not. Oh my god! It's not enclosed ruins, but the first, <laughs> the first floor doesn't have many windows or or open doors. Huh. Imagine that. Like there's a couple windows, but not as many as the old. They're not see through like the old old ones used to be. It's almost like you really do want the bottom level to be closed in this edition. Imagine that. 
And so they also talk about uh, Shade Spire, which is just, uh, oh, no, not Shade Spire, the more units for the, the Gloom Spike gets, which include more trolls and a bunch of uh, goblin shamans hopped up on mushrooms, on shrooms, which is actually pretty funny. Is that canon? <laughs> that, that it takes shrooms? Yes, actually it is. That's how they get powers. Wow. Oh, that seems there's, legit. There's actually one like <laughs> st staring at a flying mushroom with that look that you take when you're not sure if it's real or not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, so I'm looking forward to actually Urban Assault. I'll probably get it just to have, just in case. We, we may try it at the store. Who knows? I don't know. I, I'd like to give it a shot. It looks It looks interesting and fun. I mean, like if you were able to incorporate it into league games like that, that one that Jeff ran, that was a little more narrative. We might be able know. to actually. Yeah, there's no reason why not. I mean, uh, the only thing you'd have to do is like maybe like throw away some of the rules, like in terms of the mission changes. So it's still more like ITC, but then you could still have it affect what's going on. Well, we're not if we're not practicing for anything in, in particular, we can do it, you know, do whatever we want in terms of. Yeah, so it'll be great to play during March, and then after that, it'll be... You know, no, just kidding. <laughs> so, um, so that's the Urban Assault. I just brought it up because it was just something that, that piqued my interest. Um, in terms of the new year, I know uh, a couple of us set some goals, and I got most of them, not all of them. Uh, but uh, goals for the new... I guess, I guess what are you trying to... Tom, we'll start with Tom. Okay. But what are you, what are you, Tom? What are you, what are you looking forward to for the new year in term in terms of your army or your play and what what goals do you have? Well, I know you have. You're expecting a special package this year. I am. The uh, phrase yeah. "mo money mo problems" comes to mind. But what special packages, Tom. I'm expecting I understand. <laughs> I am. I am great with child. <laughs> you you are great with child. Well, food child at this moment. <laughs> <laughs> but tangentially, yes, I'm actually, uh, I'm expecting, uh, our, we're expecting our first kids, so. Yes, congratulations uh, are in order. Thank you, thank you. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to raise her in the Imperium or in the greater good. I have to think about uh, that. That's not even a question. Imperium. You're right, chaos. No. Yeah. Chaos. No. Surrounded by fucking heretics, I swear to God. The first, the first few years will basically be chaos incarnate. No, what I'm going to do is well, yeah, I'm, gonna, right. like, I'm not going to make her lean towards one or the other, and then eventually I'm going to put all like of the major models see which one she goes for first. <laughs> Except the sad thing will be if she picks up the Eldar figure, I'll have to like put her up for adoption. <laughs> yes. It depends. If we're on like 10th edition by that point, it might be fine. That's okay. true. That's cool. true. But anyway, no. For me, um, as the screen probably is showing right now, I'm I'm focusing on uh, Adeptus Custodes, and uh, I, I I chose that for two reasons. One, I, I played a very shooty army for a very long time that had a lot of bodies. Now I play a very melee army that has very little bodies, um, and also I wanted to kind of up my hobby game. Uh, I know that some of you don't care about that, and that's fine. That's that's your that's your journey, your choice. <laughs> um, but like Adeptus Custodes models are just freaking they're just so gorgeous. And like I I've actually learned a lot of new like painting techniques and approaches because of just doing tons of research on how to paint them and stuff like that. So they're gonna look good and I'm excited about that. And but ultimately like while I am probably gonna play the bike spam list for a while, uh, if you've ever played against custodes in a tournament, they're pretty much gonna just bring eighteen bikes and hurt you and make you cry with them and just be that guy. Um <laughs> I, I really, really would love to figure out a list that's competitive and viable that somehow involves Custodian Guard. And anybody who knows me that's been in our chats has seen me go through periods of mania, like, guys, what about these lists? And like just like posting like tons of list ideas <laughs> and then like pissing people off, and it's great. I you bring Custodes, that. and then you bring a Castellan, and then yeah, you bring yeah. the Loyal 32. Yeah, yeah Castellan, I mean, I, Loyal 32, and as many Custodes as you can fit. That's, I mean, I'm not denying Profit. that's actually not a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. that's the, the, I, I am going to give the Knights idea a shot. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll probably beg, borrow, or steal Adam's Knights when it comes down to that, or yours if you're not using <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, you can use my Castellan, I don't care. Yay! 
Just so, we yeah, just had to get the fine. well, we just had to get my new project here first. We'll talk about. Oh it yeah, so yeah, oh, no, okay. so and we we can talk about it now if you want because I, I that's basically that's, it for me. I'm and just and I will say though, uh, I thought I, I was like after playing with Tau for six months and like managing all those bodies and like being good with the movements, I was like, yeah, I'm pretty good. Like I've got a way better handle on being able to play custodians and like playing custodians. I'm, like I'm constantly like, wow. I'm an idiot. I did well, yeah, because in Tau, you never use the assault phase unless you lost. Well, that's the funny thing is that I understand. <laughs> I actually, one of the things that I stressed whenever I was talking about Tau is, is as a Tau player, you have to know the assault phase inside and out. It is so imperative. <laughs> Jeff screwed me over in a game where he was playing Tau and Shocking. I was playing Sodas because he knew the assault phase better than I did. Well, yeah, and he, he interrupted and blocked one of my units from doing its thing and i was like oh crap that totally screwed up yeah. me and i lost <laughs> half my bikes getting to this point and i just was like ah great i mean he is easily the best player on our team i would say so, so currently absolutely. currently Once, if carlos ever gets back up to speed then he currently yes carlos will get back know. up to speed he just needs to I still, finish his house i still think that uh <laughs> <laughs> that he's building by hand apparently yes, yes he does <laughs> I, I want. I really want the, the finished house. But if he ever house, finishes want, his house, then I don't get to paint his models anymore. <laughs> oh, sure. I really, I really want him to finish the house, and then him and his wife should have like an American Gothic esque photo in front of it because I feel like that's just a necessary at that point. You know, you build your own house, you work your land, <laughs> got integrity. Nice. Um, so, John, any yes? What are your plans for the new year? Uh, so. Currently, I have a uh, I have some stuff coming up uh, coming in the mail. I'm gonna try to run the crazy a, a version of the crazy death lar- guard list that has blight lords, uh, okay. twenty twenty blight lords, uh, double <laughs> double leviathons, because <laughs> uh, you know why not oh double God. leviathon dreads, and yeah, um, and then. It's got some pox walkers and stuff. It's you know, it's it's fine. It's like it's it's a version of that list that's been going around the internet for the last week or two. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm gonna do it with all, uh, almost all Horace Her- Horace Heresy era models. So okay. um, the Blight Lords, Blight. instead of being the actual Blight Lords, are gonna be um, the Cataphracti Terminators because yeah. the Cataphractis are they they look correct. They look First of all, because mm-hmm. that's the kind of armor that they wear in the the Death Guard ones, and yeah. then they, you can get the axes for them no problem, you know. So you right. can get which is what they're armed with, uh, and then I'm going to paint them all the pre Heresy Death Guard color scheme that I used before. So and then I, I ordered at this time I, when I did it, I actually ordered the Death Guard shoulder pads, which I didn't do previously with the previous army. Ooh, that'll be cool. Oh, okay, yeah. So Death Guard again because I was like, oh yeah, I'll just order the decals, and I never got around to ordering the transfer sheets for the other army, <laughs> well, so they just didn't have pads. Which decals are also like I. That's one thing I still haven't figured out how to do. Like, oh, that's I, easy. I can teach I know you how to do it in like five minutes. Set. Microset and Microsoft, and you're done. Yeah, no big deal. That's basically okay. it. Yeah, I mean, I I prefer I I <clears throat> prefer not to use decals when I don't have to. I actually like using the brass etchings. But oh, okay. uh, I've never got a chance for, to use those. Yeah, because Forge World doesn't sell them anymore. So um, yeah. I have to hoard the ones I just have and use them sparingly. <laughs> like, I've never, I still haven't put any transfers on my knights. I just haven't never gotten around to it. Yeah, I haven't either. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never going to win a painting award, and my knights look perfectly fine for what they are. So who cares? And they're three color. Yeah. So that's my, so that's my, my first project of the year. I have no idea what any others might be. But that's definitely my first project. Is that um, I, I assume at some point another project will be doing terrain for the Hammer of Wrath since we're in charge of that now. Yeah, so that's okay, we are. No, well, I don't know about you, but <laughs> we are. I never mentioned you. <laughs> no, I figured you'd be, make me be one of those like hype guys. I just go to random hype like guys. I go to random clubs, and be like, "Hey, you guys heard of Hammer of Wrath?" Got hot chicks there, like cover charge, like nothing. Like <laughs> I should totally go. No, I'm just uh, gonna drop minute. off a Tupperware box full of terrain and some paint for you to shove in your airbrush. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. there you go. That's a good point. Never should have told yeah. anybody you had an airbrush. Uh, terrain for days. Okay. Yeah, I've only been able to really use it once or twice, just because it's hard to use it in our apartment because it like vibrates the entire floor and we're on the top floor, so it's like. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're they're a little bit of a pain. Luckily, we yeah. have a patio out. On the side, yeah, so it's not a big deal. You lucky bastard. Mm-hmm. 
I mean, I assume there will be another project at some point for me. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I mean, but I don't have cult? anything. Why no, not? No, nah. no, no, I'm not interested. Not even if they were awesome and like really cool. No, like <laughs> no. not even if like they were the top top dog no. made Eldar look no. like a bitch. No. No. Wow, I didn't even get you with that one. Jeez. The aesthetic has to appeal to me. <laughs> I think I would do an Eldari army before I would do Gene Stoke cults. Wow. Oh, interesting. I actually do like the Eldari. Like, I like the way they look. You I, heard it here, folks. I just don't like the fact that they're always like the best thing to take for like a long time. Yeah, everything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, that's like I mean, it's fine. That's There's a reason why that's what I punted to in sixth John. edition for the first LVO that I played in. When I played in the very first one, that's why I was like, okay, I'm just going to buy this stupid Wave Serpent Spam double Wraith Knight army and have uh, Frontline Gaming paint it for me. <laughs> because uh, at the time, my kids were still really little and I did not have the time, you know, to do any like, like right. Eve was like, I think a year old or something. So like, I was like, I don't have time for this crap. Just paint this for me. Yeah. <laughs> or like I'm going to take some of this super push buttony so I can just play games. Yeah. And then I did terrible. Like, or like sometimes you're tired and you know you just can't put in the effort you want to. Yes. You know, okay. like right now I'm just staring literally at the same memes over and over on the Twitch screen right now yep. versus building three Custodes bikes, which I know I have to build, but I'm not doing that right now. That's fair. <laughs> to me, I, it's a whole new set of memes. They're pretty good. I, I'm, I'm I put very a ton of them in too. So. Oh yeah, no, I I think the selection is great. I think this is a good menu this time around. I combed I think, many hey. a Facebook group and I even went to Imgur. <laughs> or Imgur, however you say it, I don't know, whatever. I it's a bold that. admission. I don't use that. <laughs> Imgur, all we need. Um, Imgur, we deserve. What are your plans, Adam? You know what? Uh, for the last few months, I'm not because I'm not playing in the the current league, um, and I didn't play in the last tournament. I just hung out more or less and TO'd basically at our local store. I'm I'm in kind of a, a I don't want to call it a funk, but I'm I'm not sure what I want to play. I enjoy playing the knights. I enjoy the new iteration of them. As soon as Abaddon comes out, we know what you're going to want to play. That's more or less where Let's I'm heading. To with, with I mean, the, yeah. <laughs> with the with the hint, with the strong hints, with the yeah. with the uh, Black Legion uh, Raptor dude, with the new sorcerer. It looks like they're gonna they're making a push, hopefully, for some new stuff for chaos. Yeah. If the new and Abaddon ain't. model comes out and it's sick enough, yeah, I might even like be like, cool, no, I'll build no, a small no, black leaf. No, no, you're not allowed. I, I might actually want, get you're to not, use nope, that nope. stratagem now. And I'm going to paint yeah. him as a salamander just to piss you off. <laughs> oh my god, you would. <laughs> Do salamander chaos I would rather... I, I, like, your Gillivan <laughs> equals Death Guard guy was the bait. For some reason, the idea of you making Abaddon salamanders like enrages me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my my uh, Death Guard Gilman was not bad. No, he was dope. I liked him. So so <laughs> so the current plan is probably to start regathering my army to see what I have and probably what I need, depending what what coming out. The only problem is, is it, problem is that I'm so. I'm so used to the Castellan as a, I guess, as a crutch at this point. Um, that yeah, the night feel- crutch is real. You know, there's so many people on our team that excuse you, fall sir. prey to the night crutch. You know, excuse Just you, sir. Oh, but, oh, hey, John. But you know, oh, but, hey. even, but even, <laughs> even with the, um, even with the nerf for chaos, it's a lot. It's actually better now because the, because of the stratagem nerf that the knights got for Raven, especially the. The reroll hits for which is the stratagem that the renegade knights get. It's mm-hmm. only two command points. It's still only two command points. They didn't. Oh, interesting. Them. For which one? For renegade knights. I didn't. Oh know yeah, yeah. Which makes sense. You kind of want to throw renegades a bit more of a bone. But it's not know? as good as the raven strat. No. No. All. Well. No, but it doesn't cost as much. Also. Correct. Right. That's that's yeah. That's why yeah. yeah. So it's only two now. Oh, another thing on my goal list might be the Porphyrion. That's right. You reminded me. Oh, that's right. I've got the itch. Oh, my God. I have an itch to buy a Porphyrion. But, um... Uh, You know they can test for that now, right? (laughs) (laughs) But they can't cure it. (laughs) So, so I'm probably going to start... Like, I think I'm... If I'm... I'm probably going to play on this Saturday, the day that... Um... And probably play chaos 
throw some bullshit together, but I'll probably still include the Castellan. Okay, so, okay, okay. We'll see how that that goes. Because you Actually, can, I'm, yeah, you can take a Chaos Castellan, right? I mean, there's nothing preventing yes. you. Yeah, I just take take a super heavy auxiliary. No, um, to, to the only ask, thing I don't get, to, huh? Oh, I was gonna say like to, like yeah, I know with free blades and bullshit like that, like, you have to take like like burdens and oaths and stuff nope. like that like is, nope. is there anything with chaos that it's just nope i'm a renegade <laughs> yeah, <laughs> i'm gonna go do my renegade thing you're just renegade you just, you just don't get any of the household traits or anything like that oh boy but here i go killing again yeah <laughs> but because the heretics are not as you know they, they don't have the rules. style that the imperium <laughs> has because they're just a bunch of jabbering idiots with scrap code in their brains that's true yeah and or chaos <laughs> <laughs> So there are only two. There are only two uh, uh, stratagems: is the rotate ions, which I wouldn't even spend on a Castellan. And um, you say that now? Well, I have to be pretty desperate because it's three command points. Oh, for a Castellan, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you'd have to be pretty desperate. And then uh, I would only use the reroll hits. That's really the only one I would use. Because I, I read even in my normal night list, I never, I didn't use the. Rotate Iron Shield as, as much as I used to. Mm. So, so the right now the list is like Abaddon, a bunch of cultists. I'm actually going to take, uh, I think I'm going to take Corn uh, Slaughterers. If anyone remembers what those are. Mm, those are the little nope. uh, Forge World uh, like robot guys, right? Yeah, the, the little crab things. Yeah, the corn crabs. Yeah. Crab people. Crab. When, when they attack, they have like, uh, I think it's six attacks. Plus one if you give them both claws, if you don't take the harpoon. So I have seven, and then plus two attacks if they're fighting. If they're within one, one inch of an I, enemy, they get plus I, two attacks. Okay, I got I to gotta Google this. I've never freaking heard of it. Yeah. They, were, they were pretty good at one point in sixth. In seventh. Seventh, they were seventh good. In seventh, they were good, yeah. They could take down a knight. Yeah. Corn slaughter root or corn slaughter Slaughterers. Slaughter, slaughter and then add an ER. <laughs> Slaughterer. Sure. Oh, those things! Yeah, I'm sure yeah. you've seen them use them. I've seen, I've seen them. Yeah, those yeah. Little, I have two little, of them. I, I want to take them. They only move, crabs. They move ten. They they get they auto six on advance rolls, except they can't charge in advance. I can use the. Oh my god! Stuff. I can use a strat that lets them reroll all hits and moons. I just found one of the older ones. Oh yeah, the one with wheels. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> the original one from uh, second Dear edition. Dear God, that is a terrible model. <laughs> yes. <laughs> is it like a Crozius? Oh my God, he has like a flail or some weird thing. But he's got like he he has what looks like an inflatable cactus toy and a Crozius. <laughs> Hang on, I want to I'm going to post this. Hang on. So, so I'm, I may just take them just to see what they do because they also have the they also have the heretic Astartes keyword. Okay. Which means which means I can warp time them. So if I have uh, a librarian with jump pack, the the he moves twelve. The uh, blood slaughter moves ten. If I'm able to get warp time off, he moves he moves another ten, and then I assault with okay. nine attack with nine attacks at strength. I think it's strength ten. Strength ten. I think three damage each. It's not bad. Strength so I have 10, two three damage each is pretty solid. We'll see. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I want to use them just to use them because I haven't used them in a while. And I want to start playing uh, Chaos again. Yeah. Mm. I feel like uh, when you're playing Chaos, you actually care. <laughs> yes, a bit more. But he only has... Renegade it, Knights plus Chaos. There you go. There we go. Solid. Uh, he only has 10, 10 wounds, tough to 7 like every other uh, Dreadnought. How basically. dare you put a link to Daka Daka in our You chat. know what? I friggin' knew... <laughs> You were gonna go off on that, and I Google searched it, and I opened How the image in a new tab. There, I you. didn't know what the oh. site. Wow, it's literally just the image. That's it. You don't even see anything else. Wow. I knew this would happen. I knew, for, those, I, I, for those that don't, I'm not know. even amused. I'm not even amused. I'm like. <laughs> uh, most of us don't have a very. Well, we don't like DAGA. I mean, that's basically it's. Well, John doesn't especially cancer. It's cancer. Yeah, that's accurate. <laughs> if they have a, they have, DACA has a very uh, how can I put it? DACA has a unique view of of forty k. Yes, 
It, they burned me when every mod would jump into every single conversation, basically, about, about Games Workshop and bash Games Workshop and bash 40K. And then yes. they would mute and, like, punish anybody who was, like, gave them the opposite. I was like, why are you guys saying this? It's not fair that all you guys are gang up and, like, you're all mods. And then, like, they'd be like, oh, here, how's your 24 hour ban? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cute. They went through there. Thanks. I want to feel like a big important person, so I'm gonna ban people from my nerd forum. Yeah. Like <laughs> I got I got a twenty four hour ban once because I asked a guy one too many times, I guess. So what tournaments do you play in? <laughs> nice. Because he doesn't play in any tournaments, but he would always in every like tournament thread, like just giving his opinion about how tournaments should be run and tournaments should be run this way and this, this, and this. And finally I was like, What's your real name and do you attend any real tournaments? He's like, well, no, I don't play any tournaments because none of them fit what I want. <laughs> no, you don't understand. While most people pick a faction, he's actually going a little more meta, and he's picking the Emperor as who he plays as, <laughs> this all-knowing, dead Hulk of a human being, <sighs> perpetually you know, arguing and fighting from his throne. Yeah, no, it was terrible. <laughs> actually, I think what it was was I jumped into a thread that General had just Richard. begun. Yeah, thread that had just begun in the tournament section, and he was like the third poster. And so I went to the guy because the, the the OP was brand new, and I was like, "Just so you know, you shouldn't take anything this guy says seriously because he doesn't play in any tournaments." <laughs> and the mod was like, "You need to knock that off," and he gave me like a twenty four hour ban. And I was like, "You know what? This site's dumb. <laughs> I'm outro out." Yeah, the the DACA uh, towards the end because I I went there. It, I go there like maybe once a year. It's it's very it's very it has a unique outlook about 40k. Yeah, well, it's, it's got a unique enough. outlook about a lot of stuff. You you made that sound like it was a tur like like a ritual tourist destination. <laughs> uh, you gotta go there every now and then. The today. Just goes. Mm. I went yeah, there to link sure. the uh, judges PSA video and Reese's LVO thread, and that was about it. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that, and I was like, whoa, yeah. still horrible. <laughs> yes, it's still it's still horrible. I just did it because I figured it needed to be there. Guys, guys, you're you're, you're just horrible. You're both you're both just terrible. <laughs> you're both just terrible. <laughs> I love that. Oh my god. So um, so I'm, I want to rebuild, especially with uh, I wanna, I'm curious. I'm assuming they're going to have formations for Black Legion in the next book or detachments. Um, so I'm curious what those will look like and which ones they'll bring back from the old from seventh edition. Um. So I'm just looking forward to that and and seeing what. Uh, hoping for Abaddon, knock on wood, knock it's, on. They have to. Wood. They have to. Dude, they, they made can't not. They made Primaris Calgar. Like, <laughs> I feel like they're. <sighs> I feel I like we would riot in the streets, right? And like, I'm not even a chaos player. <laughs> yeah, I'll put, and, on my, I'll anything, put on my yellow vest. Anything, like, Harkin is like a like a like yellow a placeholder. Vest. He really should be called Harkin Placeholder. Like, I mean, that's like why he's there. He was like there to be like, Chaos guys, don't worry. You guys are totally gonna get the release. You guys have been really waiting for for so long. If you're, you know, if you're not the Death band Guard, McShade. Wait, why, what did I do? For the Daka uh, link. Oh my God! I googled it. I didn't look at the source <laughs> link. You guys, are assholes. <laughs> you knew this when you decided to help us with the show. Now after now I after can't say um, it. <laughs> <laughs> now after that, I'm with I'm kind of with John, especially because Gene Steeler Cult is the last codex to come out. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, like almost two years after eighth. Sisters right, but, Sisters might end up being cool. I might do sisters. It just depends. That's what I was oh, thinking yeah. too. But that if if the rumors are true, that's not to the end of the year. So mm -hmm. I'm not so I don't know what in terms of armies or So or make sure projects. your kids are bad, John, so you don't have to buy many presents and get just yeah, swoop I know, up. right? <laughs> a new, a no new army. this year. Yeah. There's a lot of needy children out but there. But I was so I good, think, and Santa got me all these 40K stuff. There's a lot of needy children out there, so I think it's best if we maybe <clears throat> give this money to an organization that can spend it wisely and for the then just spend it on 40K instead. So. Yeah, and ignore these models. <laughs> ignore all these models. I got them secondhand. Um, so I, I don't know. I, I haven't figured out what, what I want to do after that. If, if I want to build another another army, uh, which I kind of don't. Um, but it also depends on what we end up doing as, as a show. 
if we do more things like battle reports and things like that, it's best it's best to have as as wide a range of armies as possible of that would be readily available mm -hmm. to at least loan out if not actually play with. So if I have an army of Death Watch and you guys want to use it, I just you know here here the models just use them to play the battle report whatever. Um, but the yeah, uh, I mean that's kind of what I'm doing my tower right now. I mean. Yeah, I think it'd be oh, awesome. That's right. I mean, it'd be, <laughs> it'd be awesome even if I'm not behind the helm. If like Jeff goes to top eight, is like on stream with Matal, and I'll be like, "That's my boys." <laughs> <laughs> I would almost, I would almost sabotage him just so he can't do better. <laughs> See, here's the thing: is that he actually did some like minor, like he's actually been making some minor painting updates and modeling updates that I've been planning on doing with my tower for forever, but never did. Mm -hmm. And it's like a nice, like I guess, thank you for letting me him borrow it for so long. And I'm like, yeah, like, you know what? This is a totally fair trade. I let him borrow it for almost as long as he wants, and he updates it all. That's a very <laughs> polite excuse for his OCD. Yeah. <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> da, da, da. But I mean, um, he, he did he did it well, and that's all I care. So I yeah, mean, plus I have fair. missile, I have like convertible missile sides with with like the rail missile right. guns. So they look cool. Like those look cool. I've always wanted to do that. I just never really had the time or eventually the care, but he did it. Then there's like two, there's also for me, because I think part of the reason I don't really have a, a direction is there's two other projects uh, that I'm working on. That one is, is the tournament in August, the Hammer of Wrath. And there's, we can't really, uh, we can't really go, go start working on it really until after LVO. Yeah. That would be a full so there's, a lot, there's a Plus lot it's going still on. in August, so whatever. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah I mean, I. It's, it's plenty of time for the heroin market to catch up, you know. You I, say that now, but <laughs> you'll know it's July. <laughs> Wait, is the heroin market how we're going to fuel our purchasing terrain? I forgot this discussion. Yep. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Maybe, although I'd rather go pot because that's at least legal. I know a guy who there's knows. No money a guy, in it anymore because really now it's legal. That. I just really hope Rob isn't listening to this because <laughs> if it, that's the case, I'm totally joking, Rob. <laughs> 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 so and then and so I, I that might take up a lot of a lot of a lot of that probably will take up a lot of time depending how organized we get and what we get done when in re, in regards to uh just getting all that prep work and, and yeah. terrain and, and tables and things like that it um, sounds like a lot of work i quit <laughs> <laughs> But uh, the up and the other project, I really, I really can't say because I don't even know if it'll get off the ground. To be honest, I right? Just gotta, so it's I'm best just, not to bring it up. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just waiting. I'm just wait. I'm hoping that's one of the hopes for this year is to get it off the ground and hopefully it'll catch on, um, and that uh, become successful. Um, cause, well, I guess it doesn't matter if it doesn't or not, just because it's not going to cost me anything. But um, that probably won't take. Off, that probably won't be announced until after lvo also because it's, it's like i said everyone's gearing up for lvo so everyone's kind of busy especially since we're under a month uh till lvo and so under a month yes less than a month away what so speaking of which we'll, good thing we'll i don't have any, good thing i don't have any uh responsibilities doing with that <laughs> so like i mentioned the the cutoff date so chicken stealer cult is asked out yes um yeah and they, they still haven't announced the date. They just keep teasing the same images over and over. I think um, once they get through the, what is it this week? They're finishing off with uh, what were they previewing? Not not week? necessarily the this. Oh yeah, once they finish with the whole uh, rat rats. No, and, no, this week this is uh, once they finish. That's the gloom spike gets, which is the yeah, goblins. Yeah, and then the urban the urban. Oh, know, that's what it is. Yeah, the urban renewal program for forty uh, k. The 40k parks and rec. Yeah, when, once those are out, they have. Then we'll see what comes out next. Um, I'm assuming G Sierra Code will come out before LVO, but since it's past the cutoff, it's not going to. It's a moot point. Yeah, moot. Um, so I always thought it was moot point, <laughs> like a cow. No, uh -oh. no, it's not a moot point. No, well, on. I mean, you can use that depending on who's making it. Huh. <sighs> That, come on, that was clever. <laughs> Not if you have to declare it. No, it's it's like telling deaf people I'm playing Beethoven. 
<laughs> hey man, it's like telling Beethoven he'll never mount to anything. He just didn't listen. <laughs> oh, it's getting worse and worse. Oh god, now I don't. Apparently, know. apparently we're the dad joke podcast. <laughs> well, we're all dads. Hi, dad joke podcast. I'm dad. <laughs> <laughs> shit. <laughs> okay, that's it. Pack it in, folks. Good night. <laughs> that's All the right, next. Um, that's the next contest. <laughs> good luck to whoever replaces our airtime in your daily life. <laughs> we oh. wish them the best. We uh, truly do. I wouldn't. Um, <laughs> that's because you're spiteful. True. <laughs> so, we'll, we'll, so we'll we'll immediately skip to. Uh, so LVO is coming up. Uh, yep. We released the video, which has gotten a lot of uh, the video, the code of conduct, and more importantly, the enclosed ruins. Yeah, we've talked about it before, so we won't rehash the enclosed ruins. Well, which the things that have gotten the most comments is the fact that we explained that GW talked to us, or talked not to us, but told Reese about the dark matter crystal and warp time. And everybody's like gnashing their teeth, and we're like, this came straight from the GW developers to Reese. Yeah, like, unfor- unfortunately, to unfortunately. <laughs> Yeah. No, that's <laughs> sorry. It's but almost th- like they're blaming him for like it's like you know do, like don't ask mom and dad, just keep doing it because they can just <laughs> no. It's like oh, Reese, why'd you ask dad? Like, it's it's kind of like, like uh, reaction. The the only thing the only the only uh, at least for me I don't know about you John but the only the only issue I have when when conveying the, those type of, of responses is that. Uh, it does. It still doesn't, and I understand because you want to know why. Yes. And and I know the answer we sometimes give is basically because I said so, because that's what it amounts to. I mean, that's am the I, answer I, that people get at the that, event mostly often because yeah. it's like you asked for it's a also ruling. Adam's, I gave you a ruling. It's also Adam's one. favorite answer. Yeah. It's my favorite and also the one I hate the most, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Isn't that true, though, of all things? Like, the thing that you hate the most about yourself is the thing you hate the most about others or whatever, or the thing you love well, most right, about but, others? Or one, but one the of confusing things, thing right? is that Adam loves and hates that answer. So it's like, poor K. Yeah, so, yeah, so I, it, we, 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 we were unable to explain why we're, we're going with that ruling. Only, Correct. Only that that's what the GW mm-hmm. uh, design team has told us right. um, in regards to that question. I think there's one or two other ones that... And just remember, it's because they hate you, the plan. <laughs> it's always the um, answer. So, so unfortunately, we can't, we, can't, we can't elaborate on why they decided this or that on a couple of things. Mm-hmm. It's mainly just because it really is because GW design team told us, well, that's how it's intended or how that's how that's what they intend things like that so and then a couple of people wanted us to spell it out even though it's in the code of conduct that uh if oh, one of the, the players wants to use a chess clock it must be used yes. you don't have to agree now if you don't have a chess clock to use and the we've given out all the ones that we have then too bad so if you're one of those people who's like, I'm going to need to bring a chess clock with me so I can use it in every game, then you need to bring a chess clock with you to use in every game. Because yeah, we have chess. a limited number. Wait, you're saying that if I want a chess clock in every one of my games, I should provide it myself? I know. Isn't that such BS? Oh, my <sighs> God. I pay good money to be here. And yeah, yeah, that's common sense, people. Right. No, but, the, but I think the main crux of that question was, if one player wants to use one and another player does not, do you have to? And the answer is yes. That's in the code of conduct yep. under the chess clock part or in the timed game part or whatever. It's in there. Like if one of the players wants to use it, it's used. And yeah. that gets us around one of the issues that we had last year where players agreed to use a clock, but then somebody was like, no, we only used it for deployment. And the other player was like, no, we didn't just use it for deployment. That's asinine. <laughs> and it became a why thing. Why would you use it just for deployment? <laughs> I don't know why. You ask the person in question. I don't know. Because you uh, want to flex your deployment game. I guess. It's like the reverse of mysterious objectives. Like everyone, tried, <laughs> like everyone tried to forget about mysterious objectives, and when it was like reminded, it was like a mutually guilty thing. It was like, uh, do you want to use mysterious? I forgot objectives? about no, mysterious objectives I, in every game I played, except when oh, I was yeah. playing somebody who had flyers. Oh yeah. Yes. Oh me. Oh me. Freaking that was too. the entirety of 40k in seventh edition. Or or the best yeah. thing would yeah. Or me walk up to the like, table, look at a list. There's flyers in this list. Okay, so mysterious objectives. <laughs> yeah or no I, one of my favorite things was like was like uh oh like oh uh we're using mysterious objectives the guy has flyers i'm playing town he's like oh no no i'd, I'd rather not 
I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Well, my broadsides have, you know, air trackers anyway. So I just wanted to see if any of my other models got it. Thanks. No, it's just, oh, that's cool. So what other rules do you want to break? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it's in this packet. We use some serious objectives. What other part of this packet do you want to just go away? Should we just roll and see who wins? On a, four, on a two through six, I win. On a one, you win. How about that? <laughs> I know, right? We're working far away from the back of the package to the front. <laughs> oh, my God. I remember that. I'm so glad yeah, those days so are over. That, yeah. Um, West. I think, I think I we have... The bureaucratic West. You never played fourth edition tournament packet from GW. You don't know the Wild West. That's what oh. I said. It was more like the bureaucratic West. It oh, yeah, the like, bureaucratic West. Got reach it. for the sky. Sorry, I was too busy being going. triggered internally when to hear you fully <laughs> say that. <laughs> no, I was too busy um, thinking of, God, all the freaking charts. Oh, yeah, that too. God. Okay, uh, I think I think we'll have enough for how many see how many winners would we have on day two? At LVO? Yeah. Over nine thousand. We we could have up to I think it's I think it's a hundred. After three games, it'd be eight, four, two. It'd be four after the first round, four hundred. I thought you just meant undefeated, sorry. Yeah, that's what I mean. It'd be four hundred in the first round, mm-hmm. after the first round. Mm-hmm. This is assuming 800. Yeah. Uh, 200 on. after the second round. Then 100. 100. 50 so after fourth. 50. Well, we know we would need 50. Uh, 50. Uh, whatchamacallit? Time clocks. Oh, clocks. We're talking about clocks. Yeah. yeah. No, uh, we're not supplying clocks for the entire field. That's ridiculous. No, but he has clocks for the. The winners on day two. The, winners the winning on games day on day two. Right. Which means there's a good chance. There's more, more pretty good chance you'll, a clock will be available. But like our like Jeff, our teammate, he brings his own clock. Yeah, I bring mine too in my bag. Like it's just well, a this, part of what I bring. How else are you gonna rig it, right? I mean, you know, don't the other guys' clock is running ideas. a half a second faster. Don't give people ideas. Good God, don't give people. I'm ideas. not the only. Okay, if I can think of it, I I'm. I wish Danny I, was here. Well, I am the. Because then Tom wouldn't be here. Oh wow, <laughs> Jesus! That's like that is, that's like dark. That's like that's like oh man, really wish our first kid had lived because we wouldn't have had you. Oh my god, that's, that's what that felt like. God, jeez, wow. I feel I feel a little broken right now. Sorry. Uh, this is the second point at which we should just stop it. The show <laughs> tonight and on a high note. Um, <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. You're calling that a high note. <laughs> <laughs> See, you're talking to the man that has has made uh, grown ups cry. No, I know. No, and not by hurting them physically, by emotionally hurting. And not at LVO. That... No, this was at in a soccer field. <laughs> I made a grown woman. I great made a grown mo- woman cry. Although I contend she just did it to get sympathy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, such a bully. You know, cherry's out uh, on that one. That is true. Mm-hmm. I have been called a bully. If it hasn't shown already, um, <laughs> but uh, what else was there? Um, so bring your own chess clock. Bring your own chess clock. If you think you it's going to be an issue for you, that, bring your own. They're not that expensive, and they're not that big and bulky. No, they're really not. The no. And there's plenty of apps if you want to use your phone. I wouldn't use. My phone. I wouldn't use my phone. Get a chess clock. They're not that expensive. I think I got mine for like twenty bucks. Yeah, twenty bucks on Amazon. Yep. Yeah, um, twenty bucks pair double A's. That should have lasted you a long time. Yeah, I haven't changed the batteries yet. I've had it for over a year. Yep. Mm-hmm. It's a good walking thing right now. And then uh, if you do have any questions, don't forget if you have any. Uh, oh, this is the other thing. We didn't mention the video, but it came up after we, we put the video up. What? Uh, for those that don't know, if you have third party miniatures. Yes. You will. You can still go to the event. That's not yep. what we're saying. Mm-hmm. But you can still be on. You can't be on the GW stream. Right, because GW is the only one doing the stream, and they're streaming yeah. all the top games. So you can't be in the top eight unless you have stand-in models. Yeah, because it's GW stream and it's their rules. So, mm-hmm. or if you're okay without playing that those without playing with those models. So sure. depending how much depending how much of your army is third party, it yeah. can matter. I mean, but, it's unfortunate uh, for people who like third party models, but the reality is, uh, Games Workshop stream is. Like the yeah, biggest forty k no, stream. No, so yeah, sorry. There's no. Uh, there's I mean, no front and, line. there's no front and, line stream. There's no year. front line stream. And that makes sense, right? It, that's like that's like going to. I mean, that's like going to a restaurant and being like, "I'm bringing my own food." It's like, well, no, you're. Come on, <laughs> like you can't you do that. Eat. 
Well, I mean, you could. It's just highly frowned upon. Okay. So if they don't kick me out, I guess I'd do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Cool. That's why I'm bringing my uh, Salisbury Adam. steak. That's why I'm bringing my Salisbury steak to uh, our dinner on Friday. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm not kidding. <laughs> You're, you're bringing your uh, your freshly microwaved Jimmy Deans. Yes. <laughs> I had to explain what Salisbury steak was to someone. I'm like, I don't really. Good. Know you should have to explain that to people because it's terrible, and then nobody should have it. Okay. First off, I did not know John felt this strongly about. <laughs> I <Salisbury>. know, right? <laughs> then again, I'm not. I'm not like part of me is also not surprised. Like, you shouldn't be surprised. I have strong opinions about everything. Well, that's no, that's point. not true. I don't. I, but there's then, a lot of things I just don't care about. Yeah, no, that's actually, yeah, you're more of like a, okay. Right, mm-hmm. Well, you know what? I had Salisbury steak once, and it was trash, so I have a strong opinion about it. It is trash. It. So then, therefore, you hate it <laughs> so constantly I hate it. for the and rest of And everybody should know so they don't try it. I'm, I'm gonna trying to save you people. I'm going to find Salisbury steak on DACA and send you the image link. Oh, my God. And then- <laughs> I was trying, I'm trying to save everybody from having to try it. I'm, I'm being good. I'm being humanitarian. <laughs> I'm being a good Christian. I'm saving a good you from Christian woman. Thing. Oh, there we go. Being a good Christian. <laughs> so yeah, so this, so this year, um, it, mainly because it looks like frontline most frontline uh, video staff is working on the GW stream. <laughs> Apparently, so, so there's no frontline stream. There's only the G- Games Workshop stream, and because it's Games Workshop, uh, they'd rather not showcase other other companies' products. Right is more what it boils down to. Yeah, and. As much as people can rail about it, that is, it's if it's their it's their stream, they can do whatever they want with it, really. But we've we've seen them uh, have this sort of rule at their own events, and at some of their own store events at their stores, where they don't allow third party models. Third party bases are fine, by the way, because we did get a question about that. Oh, um, good. Well, yeah, I mean their yeah. bases, so like nobody's gonna care. Yeah, it's the base. Um, also be mindful of the dice you use. I, yeah. I, I only say this because with the, um, uh, I only say this because there is a, uh, section in the code of conduct where uh, your opponent can request you use different dice. If they're hard to read. If, if you have non-standard dice with the pips <clears throat> and they're hard to read, like the death guard dice are ridiculous. Well, those those uh, moon moon clan or the new goblin dice. Have you seen them? No, no. <laughs> they're they're not very good. They're, they're <laughs> horrible. They're, they 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 look like little yellow eyes, and then there's a teeth, nope. like a mouth with teeth. No, nope. or I think it's for the six. Stab. And it's basically <laughs> yeah. It. It's, it's basically yeah, it right there. The warhammer dice or the uh, the plague the uh, Nurgle dice. That's basically that's basically what it is, really. I've only really ever had a problem with like the little tiny dice that then have a white pip that then are on a light background. <laughs> yeah, yellow. That's just, that that just yellow. screams you are fast rolling like a bad person. You know what I mean? Like I just mm. yeah, that's a solid assessment. Nice. Yeah, solid Darth assessment. Jew, Darth Jew, that's the perfect way to describe Salisbury steak. How do you describe it? Wait. Hamburger with brown gravy on top. <laughs> oh, lots of people hate that. <laughs> it's, well, it, was, it was very inexpensive, especially when I was in that and ramen. So that makes sense. Ramen, R- ramen is a good reason why I'm still alive today. Why ramen like and ne- well, yeah. No, there's a <laughs> uh, my first real adult on my own experience was involved like me basically barely making rent each month. Right. And so typical I, American experience. Right. Yeah, exactly. And then, but then it like the trying to buy the cheapest things possible. So I lived off of like ramen and hot dogs <laughs> for like an entire sounds, summer before I got a better sounds, job. Sounds that correct. Sounds familiar. Yes. <laughs> like I found correct. so many different ways to cook that stuff together. Let me yeah. tell you. And mustard. Oh my God. Brown mustard. Take that's That's <laughs> worth its weight in gold. You put a hint of that and some. You put a hint of that and some. Uh, what's it called? Um, oh, uh, sriracha <laughs> and Tabasco. <laughs> Those three my, things. That's all what you my brother-in-law does. <laughs> nice. Yes. 
So I guess that's the next contest. We'll have a oh, ramen, ramen recipe. Mashed ramen. potatoes for sure. Especially if they're the cheap pre-made kind that you're pretty sure one of them is just cardboard. No, he's talking about the one that comes with the Salisbury steak. What the hell's going on in the show? <laughs> we're, because, we're, the, we're those cookie, those food guys. That's what TFG stands for. Oh. Those food guys. John, we've been those food guys forever. What are you Nobody's, talking about? Nobody told me this. I didn't agree to this. But, sir, you've always been a resident here. No, I haven't, actually. <laughs> God damn it. You haven't seen that movie yet, have you? What? Uh, the Shining. Mm, it's a Shining. Uh, well, it's, a, it's if, something. If I saw it, it, it was a long time ago. Like, I know I know the movie because it's, you know, but but do I know it because it's just like embedded into pop culture everything? Or do I know yeah. it because I saw it at one point a long time ago? I, th- I think I saw it. Well, the world may never know. I did take a couple of classes nice. about, like, that one's cinema, nice. so. Mm, that's true. Okay. I don't know. I don't know if I've seen it or not. Any other, uh... You don't remember Shelley Duvall's incredible performance <laughs> in Popeye? Um, no, my God, I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, dear God. Okay, that's the third time. I'm calling it. That's the third time we should end this show. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> anything else for LVO? And we're going to have one more show uh, before it. Or LVO, mm-hmm. so uh, just for those those keeping tab. Yeah, I don't think so. We won't have a next show for a new, another few weeks until uh, there is the thing about or, um if if you had the mob up thing. So if you have a unit of boys or like uh, storm oh. boys, and they're within an inch uh, of an enemy unit, and then the other storm boys deep strike in. Yeah, and they mob or they up. did jump. You know, no, they have to be. <clears throat> Like, yeah, either one's fine. Actually. Right, as long as it's the same unit, the same unit type, they can mob up with the group that's within a, within an inch, or two inches, or three inches, two inches, or, or whatever. whatever. If they're even the ones that are closer than nine inches, like that is yeah. that is apparently the way that's supposed to work. So that's that's. I'm the just lot. surprised I haven't seen like people put uh, storm boys in trucks yet because that seems like that crap would be overpowered. You'll probably see it hmm. at, at OVO because like what they have like a 13, 12, 14 inch move. I don't know. I don't play Storm Boys. Yeah, I don't know. I don't play Orcs. You just give them basically a shield for a turn. You you move them up the field, and mm-hmm. then like they get shot at. Then they get to move three plus their twelve or fourteen inch move. Yeah, they're coming in on turn two either way. Like except now you're like I'm right in your face as opposed to making a nine inch charge. That's true. That's true. Huh? That is we not don't, bad. We don't idea. have we don't have an orc. orc well, we don't have a we have orc players, but we don't have an orc orc player <laughs> in our group. Not really, no. Probably need one. I mean, we get somebody on that. I mean, pa- Paul. Paul plays orcs. I don't. Think, is he really committed to them though? I thought he was just no. kind of like doing whatever. No, no. I think he, he's, I, he's switching to Death Guard right now. Yeah, right. he's going back to Death yeah. Guard. I think he, he he bought him just to be like, look, guys, I can paint these amazingly as. Yeah. Um, yeah. but he just wants to I, further cement our hate of him and his painting, <laughs> and his painting skills. His, yeah, yes, you mean, you mean jealousy. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it, whatever you want, I call it hate. <laughs> I try. I forget you're a Black Legion player. It's very cut and dry for you. <laughs> it's a very black and white world. <laughs> Some reason. I don't um, see black or white. I just see murder. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of something else. If you do have any questions, make sure you check with us. Even if you do have third party uh, models, it's safer just to check with us to make sure that they're going to be okay mm-hmm. tournament. It's not to say that we'll, we'll go out and look for uh, anything that could, that would be pulled, but if someone says something or it happens to catch our eye, then we may have to question what your model is and just send it to uh, contact at frontline ga- frontlinegaming.org. And mm-hmm. for, even for, if you have any, any questions regarding how something works or yeah. your models or, Yep. things like that then give us that that's the best way to contact and if you want it approved under the table send your money cash order and your money <laughs> to tom team at alone team. at oh man if only we were allowed to do that if we were allowed to do that we wouldn't be doing this for nah, that's true unfortunately <laughs> um <clears throat> we will again we'll be at come by the judges table say hi mm-hmm 
don't say hi to us when we're there for a, a ruling. <laughs> yeah. Especially if we end up ruling against you. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm doing the. I think I'm doing the pub crawl Saturday night. Uh, okay, I'll do the the end because it always ends. It the, ends at the the bar at the hotel. Yeah, but I've well, never I'll done be- it before, and I've always wanted to. And, oh, okay. And Coop's always been like, "Why don't you do it? Why don't you do it?" So I think this year I'll actually try it. All right. We'll see if you make it. My plan um, is to be sensible and just do like a drink at each place. <laughs> be sensible. My plan is to carry one glass of water to all the bars, so they think I'm drinking vodka. Okay. Um, I, I guess I could do that. I could just have a glass of water with each drink at each bar, and then just be fine. Yeah, go to the restroom a lot, and then they'll leave without you. Whatever, it's fine. Um, we're not doing a meetup this year. Just we we usually hang out at the at the hotel bar. Usually, after, you can after you can dinner. come pretty much any night to the hotel bar and find us. Yes, hanging we'll out. Be there. <laughs> Or the craps tables, which are right next door. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're around there. You can find us. No problem. Yeah, we'll be. We'll have shirts and everything. You'll be able to find us on the floor. Say hi. Um, I'm not sure. Um, there's anything else right now for LVO? No, I don't think so. For LVO. I think that's it. We'll be there the whole the whole weekend. Yeah, I get um, to be there the whole time this time. Oh, that's right. I'll have actually people to help me on Sunday. Yes. You lived. <laughs> Such a bitch. Really? Oh. It was fine. Like, uh, well, that was the one where where Danny had to leave. So. Yeah. I don't so. Know. Uh, so Dan, Danny left like that towards the end, like after half the day or something like that. So, so but it was fine. It was fine. It's fine. Yeah. Um, but um, locally, we're everyone's still gearing up for uh, for LVO. Um, we have our local league, which is essentially a uh, LVO prep league. And yes. John, John, you're doing very well. <laughs> In the well, league, I, I apparently didn't Thought read the you rules were. to the league. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing fine. I mean, I've won all my games, but I didn't play enough games before he put it into pods or whatever. I didn't play enough games because I was still like in my off season at that point. Yeah, so I didn't play enough games then. Um, but I don't know, whatever. I'm just playing the games now. It doesn't matter. We got put into pods after a while based on your scores, so I got put in the lower pod because I played no games. Basically, I played one. Mm-hmm. Um, but whatever, I played three of my five pod games, which is more than a lot of people have played. Yeah, I think the cutoff's next week, right? No, the 21st. Is it 21st? Okay. I think we still have like 14 days. Yeah, oh. it should be fine. It's cutting it close because we have stuff to do the playoffs and everything. Um, well, I'm not in we have our we have our, we have our local <laughs> our local tournament this Saturday mm-hmm. as the day of this recording. I'm, I am able to go. Yeah. Probably going to play. I think Danny's able to go. Or hopefully he's able to go. Yeah, um, and then uh, I thought I was gonna be able to go, but now it's either Boy Scouts or baseball. One of the two things came up. <laughs> oh so my god! Don't know which one it is. Right. I'm gonna have to do yet. And then, uh, unfortunately, next month the because LVO falls on the second Tuesday, we won't be. Uh, it will essentially be the first RTT for the store for the new uh, season for uh, LVO. Right. I mean, not LVO for ITC. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Um, if you haven't already, make sure you fill out the questionnaire. I think it's still up, but I'm not 100% sure. About the missions uh, and stuff? About the missions. So if you have any questions or concerns about the missions or you have any suggestions to, for the missions, uh, make sure you go there. They actually do read them all and, and take to consideration. Yeah, they do. Um, be, oh, for LVO, be sure to... Um, uh, turn in your list. I know the event's not up yet as of this recording. Right. But it should be up soon, and the final day is the 25th. Mm-hmm. And if not, then there'll be uh, punishments that go along with it. Yep. Um, <clears throat> yeah, you got to turn in your list. It's in the packet. It's part of the rules. It's in yeah. the code of conduct. You need to turn in your list. We'll put it out there. Turn it in by the 25th. Uh, and then there's one, there's a punishment if you don't do it by that point. And yeah. then if it's still not up by the first round, there's another one. So, 
don't don't be sly and be like, I'm gonna look at everybody's list first. Just put your list up. Yeah, we don't we don't know if if the li- we personally don't know if the lists are gonna be uh, you're gonna be able to see the lists after they're uploaded or at what point they'll yeah they'll I don't know them. when they're gonna put them live but so even if you wait you may not don't don't already be in the crosshairs if you want to kind of wait and scope out what everyone's bringing before you put yours up and take the hit because mm-hmm. sometimes that's that first step's all you need and then things start tumbling during the event next thing you know you're kicked out with uh, no refund <laughs> and people are paying out, and you're mostly you are paying a lot of money to yeah. yeah. Don't run the risk. Just follow the rules. Yeah. Um I think uh I think our lo- I think locally um I think our store is going to try to make an effort this year to like improve the terrain from what I've been told. Okay. Now whether that's actually done or not we'll see. There right. A few things there's a few things going on right now with the store. Um, so whole, and with us helping with the, with the big event, uh, which cause it's go, currently going to be at that same store, but it's not a hundred percent sure, but either way with when we, since we're making terrain for, for the event, they'll, they'll probably, there'll be new, some new terrain. It won't be all be new, new terrain. But there'll, there'll be, be a, enough more new terrain. Com- be good. More compatible terrain for our store. Yeah. Um, but there's a lot. The score, store's grown. There's a lot more players. There's always new people play. Mm-hmm. We had, what, five or six games going at the same time at the store? Yeah, yeah. Along with Blood Bowl. A lot of GW games being played. Yeah, Blood Bowl's huge at our store. Yeah, that's so, it. They, they think they got it's like on the same people. night as 40K, which kind of stinks because there's, that means there's a lot of people and not a lot of parking. But So they got to get there early and claim those tables. Can't get there early. It's like, <sighs> you got to get there early, especially from the RPG guys. Oh, yeah, God. Those guys strutting around like too. they own place. <laughs> Taking up tables that are on our end when there's a whole other end of the store they can sit at yeah. with all the other you guys. I don't know why they want to be so close to us anyways. I don't know. I, sometimes I just want to throw their stuff away and make them move somewhere <laughs> somewhere else. But that could be just me. I think it's just you, yes. I don't <laughs> you think? You sure? I'm pretty sure. That's not generally I what most people feel about it. No, I'll, I'll ask, uh, I'll ask uh, Chad. Sure. <laughs> if it's sure. okay with me doing that on non RPG night. <laughs> Can I just throw people's stuff around? I'm sure the answer will be no. Yeah. Uh, we'll see. Um But I think that's it. I think there's nothing nope. nothing else for LVO. Nope. Mm-mm. Nope. And we'll move on to the last bit of business. Mm-hmm. Our contest. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um so uh, just so everybody knows, we had uh, we had our, our 40K haiku contest for the end of the year. Mm-hmm. Um, so um, we have uh, through basically three prizes, first through third. Um, we do have a, a fourth place, a runner-up. Mm-hmm. We had over almost 40, en- 40 entries. Yeah, it was pretty good. I was surprised that we had so many. Yeah, about good. half of them were from two people. I didn't read any of them, but I heard that they were for. <laughs> I can I can tell by your voting. Mm-hmm. So unfortunately, uh, we don't have Tom with us anymore. In case yeah, you his haven't internet noticed. dropped, I guess. So apparently, yeah, apparently his internet dropped, um, and uh, which which automatically makes the show ten times better. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think he's watching because he can't watch the internet right now. So yeah, he'll no, never. No. I'm sure you didn't see, hear that either. So it's fine. <laughs> so <clears throat> before we announce the winners, I just want to go through a couple, a couple of the haikus. Um, two of them actually involve the demons from the Forge World demons, which I'm not going to try to pronounce because I don't even know if they're, if they're correct. Uh, oh god, so, yeah, that's right. For the, uh, we had a couple. Uh, we had a couple that were, uh, we had three that were essentially the same, but mm-hmm. a different name in the second line. Yes. yes and um, for Patreon members, I'm going to put all, all the uh, haikus up, up so you guys can read them all. Yeah. Um, so if you're a Patreon member, you get to look. If not, you're just going to hear the highlights. Uh, a couple of the ones that I, before we announce the winners, 
there's a few that I just I just like to read just because I kind of like I like them and they didn't win but they were they were entertaining. Yes. Uh, one of them uh, was the one the the one John voted for three times. Oh yeah, that was a great one. Love that it. says in lo- uh, that says Marines still suck balls. Shed a tear for the cultist. Yanari reigns on. Yes, that was a great one. I like the Vegas one. Which one's which one's Vegas? The one in Vegas in Las Vegas stands. Mm-hmm. John Bulwark against forces of bad bad counts as thank you. <laughs> yes, yes, I did like that one too. I didn't vote for it because it seemed self uh, aggrandizing. <laughs> but I, I like that really because there's at least five or six of just you. Well, I know, but I don't think I voted for any of those, did I? Uh, I don't know. No, I don't think I did. I didn't vote for any that I had myself. It's just that's just pompous. I mean, come on, I'm not an ass. Why not? I mean, I'm not. I nasty didn't vote that way. for it, but I shed a tear <laughs> for the one that says, uh, "Malal is canon. Nothing you say will change that." <laughs> Hail the renegade! <laughs> yes, I remember that. <laughs> and for those that don't know, <clears throat> excuse me, don't have my water. M- um, Malal was the guy that uh, created the forbidden <clears throat> um, vault on Mars, right? No, Malal was um, a chaos god, but he's a self-hating chaos god. Did they name the guy who created that vault on Mars after him? I don't know. I thought for sure that vault was Mal- Malal's vault. I could be could wrong. Be. See, where's Tom when we No, no because <clears throat> they stopped using him after first after Rogue Trader because he was a Rogue Trader creation, okay. I believe. But he was he was he's a creation from somebody else, and they couldn't use the character anymore. And they okay. couldn't use the character. Because in case you haven't noticed, Games Workshop borrows from a lot of different sources. Some okay. they kept, some they have retconned. Uh, this is one of the ones that kind of retconned. You still see hints of them because there's a, a renegade. Uh, there's a renegade force called the Sons of Malice. Yes, and they're they're quartered black and white, which is the colors of Malal. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's so, more of The vaults are more of Yeah. Not Malal. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. So, so, so Malal is, I guess he's canon, but they don't really name him. Now. Right. They, yeah. The only hint you get are Sons of Malice. That makes sense. And he was a god that was actively trying to destroy the other gods. Okay. And himself, kind of, because he was against chaos, basically. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, um,. I did like the ones that that was like uh, we are we are all grown men playing yeah. with overpriced toys. <laughs> not care. And the other one that was this game is silly, uh-huh. but Grimdark is fucking sick. Lasers pew pew pew. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one too. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. I like that one. <clears throat> there's a couple. Um, there's one. There's a couple that made fun of the Primaris lieutenants. Well, of course, because uh, it one of the, yeah, that's true. Yeah, there were what three? Uh, I think there were, yeah, two or three. There's some of that. The, like I said there were a bunch about John. <laughs> like uh, Eldar's the best. People Wait, love uh, me. People love you. <laughs> John, John, is real, John is real salty. That's why he's play. He plays Eldari. <laughs> thinks the Earth is flat. Don't play Eldari or think the Earth is flat. That one's just <laughs> false. That is just a fake news haiku. <laughs> Fake news haiku. That Fake sounds good. Fake news haiku. <laughs> One of my personal favorites, only because of the article. I read the rules, you fool. There are only <laughs> eight pages. It is not that hard. Yes. Yeah, I like. I like that one too. That was a good one. Oh also. my god. Okay, so that's most of them. But <clears throat> once you do the winners, we go on to the winners. So in fourth place, um. Uh, in fourth place, names uh, all of us basically for LVO, and so the fourth place goes, and they'll probably get, I'll probably get them a set of dice at least. Uh, goes as such: Danny is a judge. Adam is also Adam is also a judge. Salty John judges, Accurate. which is Sorry. which is nice because it's a nice play on words. Mm-hmm. It is also very factual. Yeah. Anyone that knows anyone knows John. Yeah, that was really good one. I didn't vote for it because it had me in it, but I liked it. It's good. So third place, mm-hmm. and the winner of I believe it was a, char- a character clam pack. 
<laughs> uh, base Mephiston Red. Wash Karenberg Crimson. I think that's how it's pronounced. Karenberg. Okay, so then it's probably seven out. Evil Sun Scarlet. Yeah. That's, that's cool. helpful. The haiku about how to paint Magnus' skin. Perfect. <laughs> And then uh, second place, which wins a uh, basically a troop a troop box mm-hmm. or a unit box, which is one of the haikus we talked about. Releasing this week, a Primaris Lieutenant. Oh, good, something new. <laughs> How many Primaris Lieutenants have they put out now? Uh, they put out, I believe, eleven. Is that including Calgar? Because Calgar is technically a lieutenant. Oh, I think Calgar makes the 11. Yeah, because Calgar is a lieutenant. <clears throat> and then someone actually made an army list of where you just take Primaris lieutenants in 2000. Yikes. Yikes. Since, you can, since there's a few of them that are technically different or different data slates, like Space Wolf lieutenant, Blood Angel lieutenant, Dark Angel lieutenant. Okay. Because they're separate data slates and you can take three right, of each. So you can take three of each one. That yeah, sense. so it's already nine. Then there's Cal- well, Cargal- Calgar, you can only <laughs> take one. But uh, the Ultra Rings Lieutenant, um, there's the Space Wolf one. It, there's enough. You can make a 2,000-point army with uh, nothing but Primaris Lieutenants. It sounds like a nightmare. Why would anybody do yeah, that to themselves? So the winner, mm-hmm. which gets a vehicle, vehicle, basically a vehicle, non-super heavy. Non-super heavy. Um, Gellerfield's, Gellerfield's Blossom. Ships are holes in a black sky. Death is glorious. Yeah. I voted for that one. I voted for that one. Danny voted for that one. There was uh that one probably that one was probably the best the our favorite because it was at least the most uh it's very forty K. Very forty K and very dark. actually poetic. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm super excited to play Battlefield Gothic two when it comes out on the twenty fourth oh, yeah. of January or twenty first, one of the whichever one. And so uh so that haiku wins. We will send it every each person on the top four an email in regards to what they won. Yep. If you're listening and you won, you can always contact us with your contact info and which box you want, and we'll get those to you. Uh, we'll try to get them out before uh, LVO, but mm-hmm. uh, and depending what the box is, some of them are harder to get because they're not available. Right. Only or usually some weird reason. But um, just let us. We'll just let us know. We will get taken care of as soon as possible. Yep. Um. Uh, anything else, John? No, no I don't have anything else. Tom's not here. We can talk about him for about another half hour. <laughs> I think um, we can do that. <laughs> that's right. We do it to his face. It doesn't matter. That's true. Um, again, thanks everybody f- for uh, sending in the haikus. I'm pretty. I was very surprised at how many we got. <laughs> yeah, and they were not anywhere near as bad and, as I was thinking it was going to be. So that was nice. <laughs> how bad were you thinking it's going to be? I don't know. I don't like poetry. I don't like haikus. I don't like these things. Oh, my God. I'm not a fan of stuff. Not a fan of stuff. That's. Yeah. I'm assuming that's going to be on your gravestone. That's I'm not a fan of this. That's fine. I, I won't be, I'm sure. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I have a tombstone. I think the next I think the next contest should be a meme contest, forty K. Yeah, meme we talked contest. about that. that yes, we'll probably sure. do that one closer to Hammer Wrath. Yeah, that'd be great. I like it. Because um, yeah. I like doing the oddball forty uh, K meme book. contest. Perfect. Dank dank memes. Yeah. Originals. <laughs> original only. And John will know what's original. Trust me. I probably will. Um yeah. once again, don't forget, uh, if you're if you're going to LVO uh, and you're playing in the champions uh, so championship for forty k to uh, the friendly has to submit their list too, but I don't think they have the cutoff date. No, and and Thomas is is taking care of yeah, those. he's wrangling everybody who has to do it because um, he needs to check them over and make sure they're okay. Yeah. Um, be sure to have your list in by the twenty fifth, mm-hmm. um, and email of contact at frontlinegaming dot org if you have any questions mm-hmm. about any of your models. Send it, just send it to us. We'll take care of it there. Um, and then uh, I believe that's that's it. This, yeah. uh, we won't have another show. We may have a bonus episode, but I'm not sure yet. Um, but if we don't, then the next episode probably won't be until the around the end of Jan- at the end of the yeah, month, like the week before, a week before LVO, a week before LVO. Um, that way, we'll get any final final thoughts, and and that's when we'll give our predictions. I guess. Yeah. 
who we think will win, what we think will win, what we think will be yeah. there. We think it'll do good and that kind of uh, stuff. And uh, everything else will be in the closing, uh, the outro for all other information. Don't forget, mm -hmm. I'll have the haikus, all the haikus um, mm -hmm. uh, up for the Patreons to look at. Yeah. So if you want to be a Patreon, just look up TFG Radio. And, and if you need a new $5. tray for the Las Vegas Open, Hammerhead Games just released their new version of their tray. Oh, yeah. Because they make the trays that are pretty easy to snap together and take apart and travel with. To travel, yes. Yeah, they're, they're, they're the MDF ones, but they're easy to take apart to travel. And it has, like, um, the, the original one, if you guys have seen the pictures of mine from Barry Open, it's got the, uh, the side where you got, like, a little cup holder part on the side and then an area for dice and stuff. But this mm -hmm. one's a slightly, I think it's a, a little bigger. It's the same size, and it has two sides to carry stuff. Oh, so you okay. can put more of your, like, accoutrement. Because you're gonna need like markers oh. for psychic powers and stuff like that, yeah. and dice. Yeah, don't don't. Your, that's the other thing we your didn't talk about. Tape measure and stuff. So, if you have, uh, you need markers per the code of conduct. Mm -hmm. You need something to mark. And and it's a persistent effect. Yeah, persistent effect. And it doesn't really has to be. It doesn't have to be something that's like completely written. It can just be like a glass bead, as long tokens. as you know what that is. Yeah. Tokens of some so whatever tokens you got to use. Mm -hmm. um, some people use the bottle yeah. caps. Again, Hammerhead like Games makes tokens too. So, what? You, yeah. Oh do. my god! If, if only we had a place we could go. I know. If like only there was somebody like, who would make the trays and tokens and measuring yeah, implements for like us. Maybe HammerheadGames.net. If only yeah. there was a place like that yeah. that could make stuff. <laughs> and I think he's going to be there with his store again this year, right? I don't think he's playing. Tony? No, he he's he's he'll it. be there. He's not playing because he does. He has his booth. Yeah. Plus, I think I could talk about it now. Well, I'll talk about it. He can yell at me later. Sure. But I think he's part of the uh, West Coast demo team for Warlord. Oh yeah, yeah. Because he's a big, he's a big bolt action guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's so, he's gonna be there doing bolt action and they, stuff. And they and they and if the, if those of you that play Warlord games like bolt action, mainly bolt action. Uh, uh, Cruel Seas, which is I play Black Powder, uh, uh, Hail Caesar, all those historical games that John doesn't like because John doesn't like history. I love history. I just no, you don't. You don't. don't no, you like don't, John. Games. You don't, John. You don't like history at all. It's proven. You don't sure. like history. I have like three history memes in this thing traveling around. <laughs> like, that that does. I got Caesar announces wall number two up right now. <laughs> but um. They actually just actually yesterday or today announced a, uh, a, a tournament circuit for bolt action. Yes, so it's like it's like a, an IT forty K's ITC, but for bolt action. Yeah, it's yeah. called a uh, war game war game IT war game TC or WG WG TC. Yeah, war games tournament circuit. Yeah, yeah, and uh, which I is think pretty cool. LVO, That's really cool. The bolt action event at LVO, I believe, is part of it. I think it is. Yes, I think it I might think be the, the first, first one. one. Yeah. yeah. So, so Tony for Hammerhead Games is, is a part of is part of that, yeah. Which means I'll probably have to play build action because that's probably something I can actually win at. <laughs> no, you probably can't. not. No, you I, I don't think so. I don't have. I don't have. <laughs> I, I, I don't think so at all. Yeah. Uh -uh. <laughs> um. But uh, yeah. So. So if you're looking for markers and things like that, go to Hammerhead HammerheadGames.net. Right. Right. Just the link will be in the show notes as always. Cool. So if that's it, yeah. Um, good night, everybody, and have a pleasant tomorrow.